Go to any museum or gallery and look closely at an old silver print on the wall, and you're immediately aware of the grain. This is a hallmark of the silver halide film and chemical processing. Digital cameras produce electronic noise, which is roughly equivalent to film grain, but capture technology has gotten so advanced that this noise is often not even noticeable. Combine that with Lightroom 3's awesome new noise reduction controls and noise is virtually gone. But it can be brought back. Lightroom 3 offers a new noise slider, which I'll show you how to use right now. This picture that we're looking at was shot at night in a bar, uh, obviously in color. This was shot at 5000 ISO. It's amazing how little grain there is, even though this was shot at such a high ISO. But let's see. Let's do what we can to make this look like it was shot with, uh, let's say, Tri-X film. I'm going to start by converting this to black and white. Over here in the basic pane, I need to move my exposure slider a little bit over. To give that image a little more pop there. And I'll move my black slider over to the right just to give it a little more depth. Let me zoom back down so I can see the whole image while I'm working on it. I'm not going to do anything with the brightness and contrast or any of the other settings right now. Instead, I'm going to go over to the effects pane and I'm going to work on the grain slider. Let me enlarge the image so we can see the grain, which is not very apparent right now, or noise as it's more accurately called. And now I'm going to move the amount slider over. This is increasing the intensity of the noise, but right now it's looking like it was shot with uh, T-Max film rather than Tri-X. So I want to give the grain a little more larger size. So I'm going to move the size slider over to the right. Okay, that's about right. And then roughness. Let's make it a little bit rougher. Give it a true Tri-X look. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to go back to the basic pane and bump up the exposure value just a little bit more a little brighter and work on the contrast. This will make the grain even more apparent. All right. And one final thing is the clarity. That's going to give it just the look I'm looking for. Okay. All right. So that definitely looks like something that was shot with the film now. Zoom in. You can see there's nice grain. Uh, so this grain, as you can see, noise gives the image more texture. It simulates an old-time look, and it's just one more creative tool at your fingertips.